Well, as a winter storm is dropping some snow on Jamestown today, we're taking a look at efforts to keep school children safe and warm on their way into class. Our Bronson Rasmussen joins us live from the newsroom uh, with continuing coverage here, Bronson, on efforts to keep the streets case got clear. But in this case, it seems like all attention is on the sidewalks. That's right, Justin. With snowfall totals already accumulating out there, city plows have been hard at work trying to keep roads clear and safe. This includes the purchase of new equipment, specifically two, two new school zone sidewalk plows. If we do get uh, much more accumulation, uh, the plows are all ready to go and mounted up and uh, we've had a light winter so far but uh, you never know what's going to happen the second half of the winter and we are prepared. Among top concerns is student safety during the winter weather season. For our students who are walking to school, you know, we ask for them to use safety um, on their way to school, um, staying on the sidewalks, uh, making sure they're walking on the sidewalks, using caution at all the intersections corners, um, you know, crossing at the crosswalks and the lights as they're supposed to. The city's Department of Public Works has operators ready to hit the streets in the new school zone sidewalk plows. However, ordering has hit a snag. One of the things that we don't want is the children, the school children and the adults walking in the road. Uh, last year they were seen walking in the road and years before that and we had an antiquated uh, sidewalk fleet that needed to be replaced. They will be arriving the first or second week of February, there was a back order and a backlog of, of uh, manufacturing. Preparation is key for all ages, with walkers outfitted with the right clothing. And any time, if anyone needs, any students um, need any kind of winter gear, um, that any clothing, um, our, all of our schools have like clothes closets and we have lots of extra um, gear. So um, we're happy to um, provide those to any students who need them. Both members of the city council and school district leaders agree drivers and walkers alike need to be aware of each other when heavy snow is falling. Also, homeowners and renters are responsible for clearing their sidewalks within city limits, which is key to helping those kiddos get to school safety. Live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasmussen, WNY News Now.